Hello, I'm Nari McDiamond for Mining Journal and MiningNews.net, and I'd like to welcome Rowena Smith, Managing Director and Chief Executive at Australian Strategic Materials. And Rowena, we're having a series of conversations about the progress you're making as you become a vertically integrated producer of critical minerals. But today, let's start with your mine to metals strategy. What can you tell me about this? Well, our mined metals strategy starts at our mine in Dubbo. We will be uh, mining but also um, separating and refining the materials there in situ to take it through to high purity oxides. And then what we will be doing is rather than just uh, selling it directly to customers as oxides, we then offer also to metallise that for our customers through to high purity metals and the specialist alloys that are the feedstock into those component and magnet manufacturers that are needed for all these advanced technologies that are supporting the clean energy transition. So why is this vertically integrated approach so compelling? Well, at the moment, um, the supply chain for these critical um, materials, and in particular the rare earth magnets, is all coming through one supply chain. And as we see such strong demand forecast for these materials as we go forward, we really need additional supply, but also we need more diversity of supply and and those end users are looking for diversity and security in their supply chains. If you just establish a mine, then you still have to connect into the established supply chain to be able to get it all the way through to customers. So really this effort to build the whole of this supply chain simultaneously really requires individual businesses to think about, all right, well, how can I move down that supply chain so that more pieces of this supply chain are being managed by one party? Well, in terms of managing more pieces, what has the company done so far, Rowena, in terms of this strategy? Well, we have started our mine to metal strategy at the metals plant. We have built our first metals plant in Korea and that has been producing light rare earth metals and those specialist alloys that are the feedstock into the high performance magnets that are needed for wind turbines and electric vehicles and those other clean technologies. We've got an installed capacity there of 600 tonne per annum and um, we've been producing there since 2022 and we're ramping that up as customer demand increases. Um, and then the other component of it, the, the mine, uh, we have got a very unique deposit in Dubbo in New South Wales that has not just the light rare earths, but also heavy rare earths, as well as three other critical minerals, zirconia, hafnia and niobium. So we are in a very advanced stages in developing that project. We've got all our exploration work done. We've got a 20-year reserve with another 50 years of resource already identified there. We've done all of the flow sheet work. So we've been working on this project now for many years. All our environmental approvals are in place and we're at the point now where we're talking to offtake parties and funders as we do the final engineering work uh, to move towards final investment decision. Thanks, Rowena. I look forward to hearing more soon. Thanks, Nari.